Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting an adopted person within Roots Magic 3. Now, I've already got the person here that's selected that um, was adopted, but I only have her birth parents in here, Richard Puglisi and Coralie Sederna. Now, the other, the other father, the adopted father, is already added as a person, so you're going to want to make sure that person's in there first. Um, you should know how to do that already. So the first thing I want to show you is what the the individual's report looks like for this person before we start, because I'll show you that at the end so you can see the difference of how that adoption looks. So up here on reports on the menu bar, we'll just click that one time. And then I'm going to choose the individual summary. And then create. So you can see the person's father and mother are listed here. And then there are just some basic facts. So what we want to see is this person's adopted father listed here, and the um, we're going to add an event for the adoption as well, so that'll be populated in there. So I'll just close those out. Now, what I want to do is, is navigate to the um, adoptive couple. So I'm going to select the mother, and I'm going to change to the family tab. So here we've got her mother and her biological father. So what we need to do is switch to the adoptive father. So we'll just click Other Spouse for Coralie and choose Gary Marvin Parkins and click this button that reads Switch to Highlighted Person. Okay, so now they're both showing and there are no children showing here. So this is the part that's not really intuitive, I think. Um, what we need to do is add a child to these people, even this couple, even though um, Carrie already is listed as a child for those other two people. It uh, it kind of makes sense once you once you know how to do this. But um, again, I don't I don't know that it's terribly intuitive. So I'm going to click I add up here on the toolbar, and I'm going to choose child. Now in here, it asks us who do we want to add this child to? Gary Gary Marvin and Coralie Ann as a couple, or Gary and a new spouse. In this case, we want to add it to, the, the, to that couple, so the same biological mother um, with this adoptive father. And then the other trick is down here, we want to click this button that says Select Existing Person as a Child, since Carrie's already existing in the database. So we'll click that one time, and then we just have to search for that record. So I'm just going to start typing in the last name, and here she is right here. So I'm going to select her in this list, and then click the Select button one time. And then it just gives me this um, option to add another child, which I do not want to do. So I'm, um, oh, so first it asks whether I want to add this person as a child. So I'm going to click yes. And then now it asks whether I want to add another child. And I'm just going to click cancel because we already added Carrie. So now you can see right here, Carrie is listed as a child of Coralie Ann Sederna and Gary Marvin Parkins. Now if we switch our spouse back to Richard Anthony, we're going to see she's listed as a child for both of those couples now. See, Richard Anthony and Coralie Ann Sederna. So let's change back to Gary for a minute. Okay, so she's listed as a child here. So what we want to do is select the family for these people. So I just have the mother selected here. So if we click the family button, then we can see that Gary Marvin Parkins is the father, Coralie Ann Sederna is the mother, and the child is Carrie J. Puglisi. And then we can, with her selected down here, we can click this relationship button right here. So if I click this one time, then we get this little drop down of uh, options that we have for what the relationship is between Carrie and those parents. And under adopted, we have the choice of by both parents, by father or by mother. In this case, Coralie is the biological mother, and it's only Gary who was the adoptive father. So I'm just going to click by father, and we'll click OK. So here you can see adopted by father. Okay, so the other thing that we want to do is we want to set the um, facts about this adopt adoption. So I'm just going to click this this little blue arrow next to Carrie to make her the primary person, and I'm going to change back to pedigree view. And if I just double click her, then it comes up with any of the facts and events that we know. So we're just going to click add a fact here to the right of the facts and events. And then I'm going to 
well, adoption's already chosen because it's the first one, so I'm just going to click the select button here because that is the type of fact we want to add. And then I know this happened about 1976. And under this parents box, we want to pull that down and select Gary Marvin and Coralie Ann Sederna. Now, um, I don't have details, I don't have any evidence yet of where that occurred. I have uh, some suspicions, but I'm not going to put them in there because I don't have facts yet. So it's got um, that information. I'm just going to click the OK button. I'm going to click OK in this window. Since we have this adoption added here, you can see about 1976 when Kerry was 11, and we have no source information for that. I'm going to click OK. And now let me show you that report again. So I'm going to click Reports and then Individual Summary, Create. And here you can see Father, Richard Anthony Puglisi, Mother, Coralie Ann Sederna, Father, Gary Marvin Parkins, Adopted Father, and the Mother. And then here under Individual Facts, you can see Adoption, about 1976, age 11. So there you have it.